welcome to today's product review and today I'm going to review the Nutri Ninja <laughs> it's a flipping huge box now it's a, it's a blender uh, allegedly it's uh, said on there 20,000 RPM this is the Ninja 1000 it's a um, auto IQ so it's got this uh, these four buttons on uh, I don't know if you can hear me because I'm, I'm hiding behind the box but the actual um, box is huge for such a uh, obviously this logo over here this logo over here is green so it's going transparent in my green screen so the oh there we go get rid of that so the nutri ninja i bought and i'll put a link down below if you want to go and, and buy one it is a good system it's a good uh, i've tried many of them as you know i've tried many uh, blenders and they all die <laughs> don't know why uh, but i've had this one for about six months now so stick around i'm going to do a review in my kitchen okay so welcome we're doing this review and we're in the kitchen now to show you the rest of the vlog uh so the item the machines over there i'll show you that in a minute but what we have is a um a jug into which we put our um various bits of fruit in the bottom is the uh frozen um fruit and then some i haven't actually got any left so all i've got left is today is uh because it's the end of the week so the only thing I've got left is one banana and um, in there I've got some ground nuts and some cinnamon if you have more fruit then you could put that in there as well so it's not a problem it will fill up right up to the top um, there is another jug which is a larger jug uh, I don't recommend using that because you will actually unless there's two of you uh, in which case that will produce probably two uh, lots of drink that you can have um, so this one is sufficient for um, one pint so one pint of fruit juice uh, you could do I need to put some liquid in now you need to have some liquid because otherwise it doesn't grind up very well so this is a um, beetroot, uh, beetroot and ginger based uh, liquid So you don't want to fill it up too much because it will overflow. Now the machine comes obviously with two jugs, but it only comes up with one cutter. As you can see, it's quite a large cutter. So when you uh, fill up your jug, you may find that you're sticking the um, blades into the fruit at the top of the um, jar. So probably have soft stuff at the top rather than frozen because it won't fit into the jug. You shove it in there and then you have to turn it, obviously. But um, it should go, you should be able to do it like that with um, no, no, um, no difficulty. If you have difficulty then obviously it's, it's cross-threaded. So the best thing is to take it off and start again uh, because now I need to tell you about the drawback of this particular system it can leak and even though it doesn't happen very often it will happen and you'll be very very annoyed because all the liquid comes out into the actual machine and of course that is electric elect electric powered so you have the, the liquid and, and and sort of electric together it could go bang what i do is i tend to make sure that i've screwed it and then tighten it even more even when i've done that it seems to leak occasionally depending on how much liquid you put in so hopefully just check the seal and and once you've checked it then you can shove it into the machine itself so this is the base unit it is really heavy it has um, stickers on the bottom which are supposed to stop it from moving but I have yet to make it not move it's not that it doesn't move that much 
So it's got little sort of clips on it that you plug in. There's three three holes in it, and you push it down, and then you have to twist it until it locks. And what you'll see on the front there is a display. It's got four buttons on it, and each one has a timed function. The first one is just blitz forever until you stop it. The one that I use is this one over here and this will run for one minute um, basically stopping every now and again uh, so it runs for a minute and then stops this one runs for 45 seconds and does very similar uh, I don't use this one so I've no, no idea what that one does um, I can't even read it pause I think that says Pulse, pulse, sorry, it says pulse. This button here, which I don't use, you have to actually hold it down. So when you hold it down, it actually runs. So that's not much good because you have to stand here and hold it then. So I use this one here. Uh, it's going to go for a minute and it's going to be very, very noisy. So this is called the Ninja, and it's a Ninja Auto IQ um, intelligence, uh, basically. Um, it's got a 1000 RPM uh, motor, whether you believe that or not, I don't know, but it says it, so it must be, legally it must be right. When you're done, you have to actually turn it, so push it down and turn, it will unclick, lift it off. And I always check to see that there's no liquid inside the um, area there because uh, what you have inside is a um, connector device which is the motor and then there's holes around the edge. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's pretty, pretty um, dark in the kitchen. Um, got no lights. But in there is the holes around the edge where the liquid could go into the into the machine. Now, I'm sure it's happened before. Anyway, this is the finished um, product. So when we've done that, we can undo the um, the top. And it should be fairly easy. Lift off and um, this will just wash. You don't need to do anything special with it. Just like that. Now, you can, you know, if you're being, uh, you know, polite, then you can tip it out. I just, I generally drink it from that, but as you're here, then we'll do it properly. Again, this is uh, dishwasher proof. It will go in and, and wash and things like that. If you're looking for uh, quick and simple juicing, um, I've tried loads of other machines and this machine I've been using for over six months now and it worked first time. Apart from the annoying habit of, of leaking occasionally with the, uh, the top. It's a really poor design. Um, but as long as you don't fill it too much and you ensure that you tighten it up quite a lot, it should be okay. But have a have a tissue ready to, to wipe off uh, any juice that you find in the machine. Uh, so, cheers. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little review in my kitchen. Sorry it was a bit dark, uh, but do come back again for another product review very soon. Bye for now.